selling, letting, building. Everywhere you look in Nairobi, there is evidence of a property boom. Demand is high, supply trying to catch up. Developers are constantly looking to differentiate themselves. Just outside the city, more space and more exclusivity. A golf course like this one earns to a plot value. Charles Kibiru says he's developing more than just a residential estate. The golf course is his selling point. Just a few years ago, this was 1,700 acres of a coffee plantation. In a few more, it's set to have 4,000 homes and more. We'll have a four-star hotel near the road. We'll have a five-star hotel there, an exclusive, top of the ledge. He says the thicker superhighway, the first of its kind in East Africa, is what made this project viable in the first place. It also benefits from its close proximity to Nairobi and the international airport. But there's already competition from yet another golf estate project. The Abadea Hills Golf Resort is located in Naivasha, an hour and a half drive west of the capital. Kenya traditionally is a, a tourist hub for the safaris. We want to be able to capitalize on people coming both to see the safari, the wildlife in Kenya, the natural beauty, but also from a golf tourism point of view. It's one of the fastest growing sectors in Africa, if not the world, and we want to capitalize on that. Of course, developments like these are only affordable to the wealthy. Mortgages in Kenya are out of reach for even those who are employed. The average bank lending rate is about 16% per year. It is for this reason that analysts think that higher-end developments such as those in Gulf Coast states target Kenyans living abroad, industrialists and entrepreneurs, people who take money out of their savings rather than depend on a mortgage. Analysts say there is appetite in Kenya for high-end developments. The challenge is to find and attract the right buyers. So I wouldn't be jumping up and down in joy if I had an opportunity to invest in a golf estate. It can be a very expensive venture. But well put together, well designed, well marketed, and therefore well funded right from the beginning, it can be a very profitable venture. Projects like these require huge investments. The risks can be high, but if they do succeed, the returns may well be worth every penny invested.